you know, you talked throughout the season about the successes that you guys had. Um, how do you balance that against the loss of last night and the season coming to an end? Uh, I mean, obviously, that's something. I mean, we knew that Atlanta is, you know, good team and they're they have experience and they're kind of used to that crowd. But um, I can say that we're really uh, disappointed that we that we couldn't go further because we knew that, you know, we deserve that. And we knew that um, we have great team and great characters in the locker room. And obviously this was a hell of a season for us. It really was after those three years that we had, we started like building and getting better every day. And then we started going up towards the goal that we, that we want to the playoffs. Um, obviously we, we didn't make it this year, but I feel like uh, there's a bright future for us and a lot of, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm just really proud of the team, like how we played the whole year because there's just so much growth in the way we played. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of lessons to be learned too, but I think overall, I think we did a great job this year. Jetty, what's it going to take for, for you guys as a team to take the next step? Um, I think just to learn how to play for 48 minutes. Uh, you know, because we always had issues like uh, starting the third quarter, sometimes, you know, starting to the game. So I think that's the one part we have to get better. Always be the one with the first punch. Um, because we saw what happened when we do that. And um, so obviously there's a lot of good things to come yet. So we'll, we'll get better, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Kelsey. Kelsey Russo, The Athletic. Hey, Jetty, how are you? I'm good, Kelsey. How you doing? I'm good. Going off of that, um, I know obviously with the disappointment of the season ending the loss last night, but how do you guys carry the momentum forward just from, like you said, the growth that you guys have taken this season over the summer to next year and just kind of build to next season? Yeah, I mean, like I said, everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's very disappointed and in pain. Uh, and we know that this is only going to make us stronger. Mm -hmm. It's going to uh, make us better. And like I say, we're going to learn from, from the last game and then we'll be ready for the next season. Because uh, I feel like this loss is going to uh, hurt for a while. Mm -hmm. and uh, But like I said, this is going to only make us better and stronger. And we'll come much, much better uh, next season. And with, like, all the adversity you guys went through, the injuries, you know, the kind of the ups and downs of this season, like getting everybody healthy coming back next year, does that excite you at all just about, like, the potential of where this team could go? Just what we saw this year, yeah. A lot, definitely. I mean, we have we have just struggled so much uh, with the injuries. Like, I don't even know how many games we played all together. Um, but still, even with those injuries, the way we played, I mean, I am really proud of this team because um, we have we have struggled a lot with the injuries, but we were still playing. Like, we always had that next man next man up mentality and. We played, we played hard every night. Thank you. Um, but definitely, <laughs> but I'm sorry, but definitely I'm, I'm excited for the next season. You know, everybody's healthy. We have full team. We'll, I mean, we'll be scary. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Marla. Marla Ragnar, Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, Jetty, when you mentioned that three rough years. What stands out about most about the great thing you did this year? Was it maybe the defensive progress or, you know, as a team, what stands out? Win games. I mean, uh, we, uh, we doubled the wins, I think, right, uh, this season. And uh, also, like, we're just having fun. I mean, we have a great group of guys here. Uh, our locker room has been fun. Uh, and we were really enjoying uh, playing with each other. I think that's the uh, that's the bigger thing, and uh, that's why you know, I'm just really happy to be a to be a part of the team. 
seeing your friend, fiance soon? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Pretty soon, yeah. I figured you might be leaving today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, really soon, really soon. Yeah. Well, have a good time. Thanks. Thank you. Christos, go ahead. Merhaba, it's Adi Krishos Chalda says Dine Gris. Hope you're doing well. How are you, Christos? Uh, my question to you is how how may, more mature you feel from personal standpoint as a player after that uh, high demanding season? Yeah, I mean, you know, every season is obviously uh, a different season and, you know, uh, in terms of experience too. And so I, I definitely felt, uh, felt that this season, especially for myself, was a was a huge because um, I have found my role and um, I think in the five years that I've been here, I think this was my best season so far. Um, and, you know, I'm just really happy that I was able to, to help team win games and that I was, you know, an important part for the team. So that's why I think, you know, there's still a lot of, a lot of room to improve, but I'm definitely happy the way I played this season. And also speaking about the team and the way that you close the season out, how motivated you are about uh, the upcoming season? Oh, I mean, we're motivated a lot because we know that we're a special group and we can do special things. And I really do believe that we're, we, we deserve to be in the playoffs. But obviously, you know, like I said, we have struggled and I don't want to make an excuse. Um, but uh, for next year, I mean, you know, we especially with this loss, uh, like I said, it's going to make us stronger. So we'll, we'll come back and uh, hopefully we'll have a great, great, uh, great season next year. The circular me Kardash. Hi, Faristo. Spencer, go ahead. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Jetty, you mentioned it yourself, the, the 48 minutes of basketball thing. Um, coming into this year, you guys weren't used to playing with leads. You guys played with a lot of leads this year. Um, as far as, as keeping those leads and playing uh, well when you're ahead, uh, what did you guys learn about yourselves and, and how to approach that as you go into next year? Yeah, I think also that's that's the one thing uh, that we have to be better because uh, there's there's a there's a couple of games that we lost when we were up big and then we lost. Um, I just think at that at that point, like we just have to keep keep playing the way. We play before that, like even if we're up 15, 20, 25, whatever, still playing our basketball, still stick to the game plan. And um, I think that's that's also the big point that we have to we have to get a bet at. Chris, last one. Jetty, did you um, meet with JB yet or is that still to come upon exiting? Uh, should I tell the truth? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. We did. What, what what was his overlying message that he wanted to send to you guys or the message that he wanted you guys to take as you exit? Uh, obviously, um, you know, we, we didn't talk uh, about basketball a lot, actually. But uh, what he expects for us is um, in the summer to be uh, to be together. And uh, obviously, um, for this loss, especially to hurt us and, you know, just to get stronger, to, co to come back with the purpose and with knowing what we want for the next season. And, uh, you know, obviously I think everybody is aware of, uh, especially right now, what team is expecting from us. And like, we're hungry. Uh, we we want to get to the top. We want to do that. And I, I really do believe that, uh we have the capacity to do that and um so like i said really happy to be a part of this team and really that's that's the that's the things that we talked about um but obviously we didn't talk a lot of the you know basketball so uh i say we're going to talk in a you know in a f next couple of weeks about that um but yeah that's and it. um speaking of jb jetty what, what do you feel like makes him the right coach for this group moving forward? Uh, I think just uh, the way he was um, communicating with us and the way he was just really close to us. Like, uh, 
I mean, yes, he's a head coach, but he was really close with us. Like, you know, there was not no any like distance. So he was just looking at us like, a, you know, like a little brothers. And, you know, we were always doing everything together. And uh, I feel like everybody, everybody had a, everybody had a great relationship with, uh, with JB. And I think everybody's, you know, uh, happy to, to have him as a coach.